45-year-old Todd Arnold suffered catastrophic brain damage when his Toyota Tundra pickup truck struck a wooden post on a barbed wire fence. The post struck the front passenger side windshield where Arnold was seated. It peeled back the roof like a tin can, crushing Arnold's face and skull. The accident was so minor that it did not even wake up his teenage daughter and her friend that were asleep in the back seat, returning from a softball tournament. When Arnold purchased the truck from Don Davis Auto Group of Arlington, their salesman assured Arnold nothing like this could ever happen because the truck was built with the revolutionary new Super Steel. According to a $70 million lawsuit filed in Fort Worth State Court, Don Davis salesman lied about the truck's safety features. There was no Super Steel. When you go to a car dealership, they know more about the vehicles than you do. So we expect that they will tell us the truth. And when they don't tell us the truth, there are sometimes horrible consequences. And that's exactly what we had happen with Mr. Todd Arnold. The Tracy Law Firm's Vehicle Safety Lab in Dallas investigated whether the Toyota Tundra truck was built with super steel. To do that, automotive engineers crash tested a truck just like Arnold's. It used the same wooden fence post from the accident and reproduced the accident forces. And when we conducted the test, you'll notice that the vehicle crush pattern looks identical to the vehicle that Todd, Ar that Todd Arnold was the right front passenger in. And when we did this test, the crush was so bad that it actually damaged the seat just like the seat had been damaged in the Arnold accident. Next, Tracy's Vehicle Safety Lab conducted a similar comparison crash test using a Volvo XC90. The Volvo is actually built with super steel. So what we did is we ran the identical test, except this time we increased the energy by 10%. And when we took the post and struck it on a vehicle that, you, that we know has super steel, the post literally bounced off of the roof structure. There was no vehicle intrusion. The occupant that was in the right front passenger seat was protected and they wouldn't have been injured if the vehicle had super steel on it. So what did we learn from the testing? We learned that the Don Davis Auto Group salesman had lied. Now, what did I say at the beginning? Words matter. They believed that salesman when he said the Toyota Tundra has super steel. And they, that convinced them to buy the vehicle. The $70 million lawsuit also alleges that the Don Davis Auto Group salesman fabricated a story that the Toyota Tundra pickup was safer and tougher than any Chevrolet, Ford, or Ram pickup truck. Tracy put the dealer's claims to the test a crash test ballisting ram tore deep into the roof of the Toyota Tundra. Well, the ram stopped short on the Chevrolet, Ford, and Ram pickup trucks. So, when, they, w when you compare what the salesman said, that the Toyota Tundra was the strongest roof in its class, that it was safer than the Chevy Silverado, the Ford F-150, or the Dodge Ram, when you put that statement to the test, the myth is exposed. And you'll notice that the worst performing vehicle was the Toyota Tundra, as we'll show one last time. What is revealed here when the engineering is conducted is that the Don Davis Auto Group salesman lied. He lied to make a sale. He lied to make a commission. He lied so that Don Davis Auto Group could make profit. And because he lied, a vehicle was sold under false pretenses. And again, words matter.